Hello everyone and welcome to another Motivation Monday. So today is um, Motivation Monday. I'm doing a special on love and there not being any limitations. And this is a topic I wanted to touch on a long while ago, but I was waiting on the right time. You know, I have to feel, I, I don't just do a video, I, I kind of go with the spirit, sort of. So I have to feel it when I'm doing it, okay? So, um, if you're not aware who Queen Lady Gangster is, she's a, a Jamaican artist. She has a few songs, I love her, she's on Instagram and so on. She has a very bubbly personality and she's very outspoken. And she started dating this guy a while back. And people had so much to say on social media. They gave her the worst time. You know, they called her all types of names. There are times that she would just talk and laugh, you know, laugh it off. And there were times it got to her. And I get it because I am an emotional person like her. And sometimes when you get upset and you cannot physically do anything about it, you would cry, not because you're necessarily a punk, but because it hurts you and you're upset. And if you catch this person at that time, you probably could damage them to the anger you have in you and the rage with people coming at you all the time. Could you imagine getting up every day and getting hundreds of negative messages, calling you all sorts of names and telling you why you can't look for someone your age and a whole bunch of nonsense? And my thought process towards that has always been the same. Men have been going with younger women from the beginning of time. Even since I was going to high school, which I didn't know something was actually wrong with it at that moment. But even when I was going to high school, when I came out of school, there were guys waiting outside the school who were in their 20s. Or the very youngest, probably 18, 19. They finished school and they would come hang out outside our school and then they would, you know, hit on you as you're coming out of school. Okay, and a lot of girls that I knew had older guys as their boyfriend. We didn't, you know, particularly know that was a crime, but I'm just saying. So as far as I, as long as I've lived, I've known younger girls going with older guys. It was never a big issue at that time. And even to today, as long as you're not a minor, you're underage or whatever, as long as you're a content, consenting adult and you're like 25 and you're the man but that's 40 or whatever, or you're 20 and you're the guy that's 40 even. But as long as you're an adult, it's not really nobody could do. But this has been going on. Older men have been marrying younger girls, especially in places like India and so on. A guy married in a girl that's 13, 14, as long as her parents consent. And in a lot of instances... These are the men that are better off and could pay the dowry of the cows and the money and the gold. So if you're from a poor family, a lot of people wouldn't let their daughter marry to an old drunken pervert, you know, so they could have a better life for her and themselves. Okay? So now that older women are getting with younger guys, because a lot of times younger guys find us very attractive, and a lot of times younger guys... um. Don't want to deal with younger girls because the mindset is a whole different thing. No offense to young girls, but I'm just saying, depending on what stage a guy is in life, and if he wants to settle, have a business, do different things, a lot of times if he's dating a young girl, her mindset is party, makeup, nails, hair. So a lot of times a younger guy will be attracted to an older woman because of not where he is at that moment, but where he see himself, maybe a year, two, five. Or even longer than that. And he wants somebody that's on the same wavelength with him if he's mature enough. Now, if it's a young guy that's with partying, hang, having fun and sneakers, then the young girl who wants to get her hair nails done and go out every weekend, he'll be fine with that. But depending on where his mindset is. So, this, um, today's um, video is primarily about love. And love does not discriminate. Love does not have an age. And one thing I know, a lot of times we see couples that are mismatched in age by, you know, most people's perception. But the fact that Queenie is a public figure and there's a lot of women in her age bracket, including myself, 
who a lot of times, not speaking about me specifically, but a lot of times people, you know, give up on love and they think if they've never been married that they, you know, that ship has sailed or whatever and it's not going to happen. So Queenie got married, I believe it was Saturday. I was, I'm so happy for her and Dewey because people had so much to say and I believe, you know, she lives in England. She went back to Jamaica. She was there for months and they finally got married and for the naysayers, it happened. Okay, and to see the joy, and my thing is this, people saying that he's using her, whatever. Guess what? You don't have to marry somebody from another country for them to use you. You could marry somebody right where you're at. You don't have to marry somebody younger than you for them to use you. People use people every day. My thing is this, even if that is his intent, which I personally don't think it is, even if it is his intent, it is her life, and if she's happy, whether it's for a day, a week, a month, a year, five years, however long her happiness lasts, let her have that. If it doesn't work out, I know a lot of people will be happy to say, oh, I knew it, or this or that, like there are people rooting for this to not work out. I, on the other hand, I'm not. I am happy to see people happy at any age. Okay, and the glow that she has on her from, from the, you know, from since I've seen them together, the glow that she has. He seems happy as well, but the fact that I'm following her long before I know who he is, she is so overjoyed and glowing. Could the woman have it? So for all the older women who think that, you know, life is passing them by and they can't find the love of their life, you could find love at any age. So this, I believe, has motivated a lot of people and give them hope that they too could get a husband, whether he's younger, older or not. Okay, and a lot of time an older woman would end up with a younger guy because she's older, especially if she'd been married before or been dating somebody for a long time and they're older than she is. She reaches a stage in her life in most instances where she had a long-term relationship that's over. She has kids that are grown. Her mindset now is as much as she's still serious and she wants to do positive things on one hand. On the other hand, she wants to enjoy life because most times you get in a relationship or marriage at a young age. Now your children are grown. That relationship has run its course. But the mindset you're in, if you get with somebody your age or older, they want to sit home and eat popcorn and watch movies. And maybe you don't want to do that because you've done it all the time, being home in a house, watching kids, taking care of somebody. And now the kids are grown. That situation is over and you want somebody who is not too young, young enough to still want to have some fun so you could enjoy your life now that you may be retired or close to retiring or whatever, but old enough to still have some maturity so you could still build together. And this person probably have dreams that they haven't problem fulfilling on their own. And if they get the right person in their life, two heads are better than one. Two heads are better than one. So they could get together she could help build him. He could bring out sides in her that, you know, that probably nobody else have been able to do. He could make her more calm. She could make him a little more outspoken. You understand what I'm saying? So let people have their moment and you too could have your moment. That's, that's the message I want you to, to go away with today. You too could have your moment. You too could find love. It's never too late regardless of your age. And if the person happens to be younger than you, so be it. If someone comes into your life and they make you feel a way that no one else has ever been able to make you feel. And I hear some people say that a person can't make you happy. I beg to differ. If a person could make you miserable and sad and have you in tears every day, why can't the opposite be true as well? A person could make you happy. Yes, you have to be happy within yourself. But if a person could help tear you down, a person could also help build you up. A person could make you happy by the way they treat you, by the way you are when you are around them. Things they bring out in you. Things they make you see that you didn't think of or you thought about it, but nobody have been able to bring it to you in a way that make it resonate with you. So yes, as far as I'm concerned, and it's only my opinion, you're entitled to yours, but uh, my channel, and I'm giving my opinion. As far as I'm concerned, a person could make you happy. Because I've come across people in life that make me sad, make me depressed, make me angry, make me 
you know, give me numerous emotions and I have been around people, whether it's a man, woman or child that has made me happy. And I always want to be around them because being around them, they make me feel happy. They make me feel, you know, at ease. They make me feel comfortable. They bring me some kind of joy, whether it's something they say, whether it's something they do. So in my opinion, people can make you happy. And from what I could tell, Dewey makes her happy. So for however long it lasts, she's entitled to that. And we all are entitled to find joy, love, and happiness. So this is what I want to say today. Love without reservation. Keep your mind open. Keep your heart open. Because sometimes the person for you is right there. But you have so much walls up that you're not allowing it to happen. Let down your guard a little. Let your wall down a little enough that somebody could want to approach you. Because if you're walking around with your face sad and guffed up because of past hurt, past hurt and disappointment, somebody would be afraid to approach you even if they want to because every time they see you, you have the rest in B face. You know what I'm saying? Relax a little. Smile a little. Think about things that's happy and joyful and positive and smile a little that somebody would see you and want to approach you. They're not afraid of you. They're not intimidated by you. Okay? So let go. You know? Let go and let God, let God handle, ask God to handle your battles and ask God to help remove the bitterness. You know, and the anger from your system so that somebody that want to love you the way you need to be loved and desire to be loved would be able to walk into your life because you get rid of your baggage and your past pain and hurt and disappointment. Okay, guys? So, I don't want to leave this too long and drawn out. I just want to say I'm happy for Queenie and Dewey. Congratulations to them. And we all could find out Dewey regardless of whatever his age may be. I don't think most people sit down and say, you know what? I'm going to go look for a guy 20 years younger than me. Or I'm going to look for a guy 25 years younger than me. But you have certain things you want. You have certain things that bring out certain things in you. And if you happen to find a person that gives you everything that you desire, but they happen to be younger than you, I've been guilty of this before. Where I'm like, I really like this person, but I can't give them, you know, because they could be this or they could be my little brother or they could be... And a lot of times we pass up opportunities. We pass up opportunity in life because we're thinking about society. Society is not living my life. I have to live my life. I have to be happy. So I'm at the point where Queenie is at. When you find somebody that gives you what you desire, puts a smile on your face, make you feel at ease and like you've known them your whole life, you know, makes you um, ignore some of the stresses of the world because when you're around them, you just want to laugh and hug them and whatever. You don't find that every day. That's euphoria. Take that. You know what I mean? Take that. So stop giving, having this long list of all the 99 things that you, you're looking for. Find the 10 things that are most important to you. And if somebody comes into your life, whether it's a different race, whether it's a different age, whatever ethnicity, you know, socioeconomic status, as long as the person has potential and ambition and they're respectful and they show you love and they make you feel the way you want to feel, let it happen. You, you deserve to be happy. Forget about what everybody else has to say. They don't have to live your life. Because we all, including myself, have been in relationship. We've been, we've been unhappy because everybody else thought it was a great idea. On paper, maybe it might be a great idea. But you have to live it and you have to see this person every day and you have to go to bed with them at night. And sometimes it's really disturbing and disgusting because after a while, if not from the very beginning, you know you didn't feel that way about that person. But you're like, you know what, I'm going to give it a try because they like me like that. And, you know, so I'm going to give it a try. And you're going to be miserable because you don't feel that way about them. So find the love of your life. Allow it to happen. Pray for it. Go out there with a smile on your face. Try to keep yourself looking up to par as often as possible. <laughs> You know, never mind that sometimes you meet people at the supermarket and you're looking your worst and you just ran outside to get some milk and you could happen to meet somebody. But at the same token, you don't have to dress up like a circus clown, but you could, you know, put on your sweatsuit if that's what you want to do, but still try to look cute. You know what I mean? And try not to go outside with your bonnet on. And, you know, 
keep your guard down a little and try to keep your face with a little, you know. You don't have to be a big cheese smile like you just saw cake. But, you know, keep your face a little pleasant, at least that somebody may want to approach you, you know. And find your Dewey. We all could find our Dewey, okay? That's what that taught me. And I would like you to think about it like that as well. We could all find someone who makes us glow like that and roll in the sand and everything. I'll put a little clip of the video in here so you could see. And if you don't, if you don't think that somebody deserves to be that happy, your life must be really sad and miserable. Live a little. Find the love of your life and you two could roll in the sand. Okay? You two could jump up and down and flash your ring. Okay? Because we all deserve it. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Welcome to the Rockstar Nation. Um, hope you stay and rock with me through the process. The people who's been with me from the very beginning, my original rock stars, I love you guys. The people who came in in, in the middle... Still, we all are part of the Rockstar Nation and um, keep rocking with me. We have bigger and better things coming as time go along. So um, thanks again for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, give me your opinion on the, on the topic. And see you in the next video. Smooches! Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the birds and rejoice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh come to the Father, through Jesus the Son, and live in the glory that we may have The next one is for the chief. Okay, we're going to pray. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we do thank for this occasion. We invite your divine presence. And we pray that everything be done to your honor and to your glory. In Jesus' name, and we are. We have your Dwayne Scarlet. Are you Dwayne Scarlet? And you are Jenny's Espute. Yes. All right. So we want to make sure we have the right couple. You understand? Okay. Now. I want both of you to know that marriage is a serious thing. You're not going to be like other person get married and another year you break up. It no. must be until Amen. death us do harm. Amen? And if we are more people getting married and sticking together and having children that they can afford and take care of them, we will have less crime and violence. Amen. But too many children are coming into the world with us a cup of home with a mother and a father loving them. So be a good example. Thank you. Here in the sight of God and in the face of this company to join together this man and this woman is called the matrimony which is commanded of St. Paul to be honorable among all men and therefore it's not by anything entered into on advice or lightly but reverently discreetly advisedly If any man can show just cause, as they may not be lawfully joined together, let him not speak, or else he will have to forever hold his peace. I require and charge you both, as he is answered in the dreadful day of judgment, when the secrets of all hearts shall be disclosed, that if others will know any reason why you may not be lawfully joined together, you do not repent. But be well assured. That if any person are joined together, otherwise God does not allow their marriage is not lawful. Okay, we are going to answer. I will. I will love for everybody to. in the holy estate of matrimony. Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, 
in sickness and in health and forsaking all others no more girlfriend right amen keep the only unto her so long as you both shall live say i will i will everybody heard that yes I will. yes he will okay jenny's estu will you have this man to be your wedded husband to live together after god's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony will you obey him and serve him love honor and keep him in sickness and in health yes and forsake him all others keep the only unto him so long as you both shall live i will everybody heard that yeah i do <laughs> okay who you met this woman to be married to this man i i do yes sir you did you can't have a seat now Okay, remember now that the man is the head of the woman. But the Muslim, and it says that the woman should obey the man. But I'm going to expect her to obey with anything that is wrong. You understand? For you doing that with it? Right. Okay, so you must play a role as a good man. And you're supposed to be the provider. And you're supposed to be the protector. Amen? All right. Okay, Chief, come out the way now. When you're going to say it loud after me, I go in Scarlet. I do Scarlet. Take you Denise Escoot. Take you Denise Escoot. To my wedded wife. To my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better for worse. For better and for worse. In, in sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love. To love. Come on, say it. To love. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> and to cherish. And to cherish. Till death do us part. According to God's according to God's holy ordinance holy ordinance holy ordinance and there too and there too I give you my pledge I give you my pledge okay I Janice Espute and Janice Espute thank you Dwayne Scarlett thank you Dwayne Scarlett to my wedded husband to my wedded husband to have and to hold to have and to hold from this day forward from this day forward for better for worse for better for worse for richer for poorer in sickness in hell. In sickness and hell. To love. To love. Say it again. To love. I love you, dear. <laughs> to cherish. To cherish. And to obey. And to obey. Till that do us part. Till that do us part. According to God's. According to God's. Holy ordinance. Holy ordinance. And there too. And there too. I give you my pledge. I give you my pledge. Okay, who has the ring? Amen. Okay, put it right on. Prepare your marriage. Yeah. 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 Ye
to go outside there. You're going to stand. Okay, guys, if you could step back just a little bit, just a little bit. Just take my picture first, yeah? No, I'll give you other, but this is for you too. Yeah, but me. This is the money, right? Ladies and gentlemen, ma'am, it's my pleasure to present you this time Mr. and Mrs. Ben and Jay Scarlett. Put your hands together. Oh, 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 oh,